This is an interesting and rare case. Patient has a 16 weeks obstetrical scan. This scan is normal, placenta is interior, baby is breech position, cervix is normal 34 millimeter. Cervix is in continuity with uterus. Liker is normal, no congenital abnormality of baby seen. The main purpose of this scan is to rule out left adenexal mass. In the transverse view, there is a left adenexal mass seen. Mass is separate from uterus. There is internal vascularity seen and this is solid. Now in the longitudinal view, a complete separate uterus is visualized of size 10.3 cm. This part of the uterus is on the left side. It has body and cervix in continuity with the body. Endometrium and cervical cavity are also in continuity. No fluid, no pregnancy seen in it. This is completely separate from the first uterus which has pregnancy and is on the right side and has separate cervix. Two separate cervix and two separate cervical cavities seen in the transverse view. This is a case of double uterus called didelphis uterus which is a complete duplication of uterine horns as well as duplication of the cervix with no communication between them. This is very rare and occur in 0.3% of all population and accounts for 8% of all female congenital abnormalities of reproductive tract. This is congenital and associations are renal agenesis, endometriosis, vaginal septum. The vaginal septum is in 75% of cases and obstruction to one horn is possible with rare transfer septum. This obstruction can cause unilateral, hydro or hematocorpus. There may be menstruation problems and painful menstruation. It can cause infertility but most of the patients get normal pregnancy. But pregnancy complications can occur and these are frequent. These include abortions, that is one third of the pregnancies and more than half may have premature deliveries.